Time for seven first alert weather. Great news in the mountains. It seems like we waited a long time, but then we got an entire, you know, four, six weeks worth of snow within the last two to three days. I wanted to show you some of the area ski resort snow stakes and keep in mind they get cleared off at 5 p.m. every day uh, so they can start counting once again and they will be doing so. These new totals that you're seeing here, 48 hour totals, 28 inches at Tamarack, 18 inches at Bogus Basin, Brundage with 21 new inches. It's interesting though that these numbers kind of match what's at the base and that's because we did get all of it within the last couple of days. Those in our mountain valleys that reside in our mountain valleys have been saying the same thing on our Idaho Weather Watchers Facebook page. It all comes at once, doesn't it? Highs today for the Treasure Valley in the low to mid 50s, even making it into the upper 30s through Long Valley. McCall with a high of 38 degrees. So that snow level this afternoon, it rose to above 5,500, even 6,000 feet. That's where the heavy snow is still piling on, but that is good for our snowpack. So we'll take whatever we can get. We'll bring that snow level back down as our cold air arrives for us. Max wind gust today. Today, made it up to a 40 mile per hour gust in Boise and a 51 mile per hour gust in Twin Falls. That's why the wind advisory has been in effect for the Magic Valley for Twin Falls County throughout the day today and will remain in effect until early tomorrow morning because you can see winds are still gusting above 40 miles per hour there. But calming here in the Treasure Valley, when you see the numbers drop off, that's because the gust is below 20 miles per hour. So it was loud and noisy and windy this morning, but that won't be the case as we wake up tomorrow morning as that cold air will take up shop in our region. We're still seeing that mild and moist southwest flow as we talked about yesterday, but you can see all of this is circulating around this energy here off the coastline. This is our trough of cold air that will move into place for us, and we're talking a major drop in temperatures. In fact, early tomorrow morning into midday. It could be cold enough in the Treasure Valley that we see some raindrops turn over to snowflakes. I'm not looking for accumulation. That's hard to do with temps in the upper 30s, but don't be surprised if you see some of those wet snowflakes falling from the sky and trying to accumulate on grassy surfaces. Scattered snow showers continue for our mountain locations through Tuesday evening, and then we get a break overnight Tuesday through most of the day on Wednesday before we bring the snow back into the forecast area. And I'll show you that uh, timeline in just a second here. But wind through the rest of this evening, it calms overnight tonight. Rain showers will eventually mix with a little bit of snow as our temperatures drop, not overly cold into tomorrow morning, but then we just don't really warm up a whole lot tomorrow afternoon. So I'm looking for highs for the Treasure Valley for the Boise area. Somewhere in the upper 30s is all the warmer that it gets tomorrow. So some big changes on the horizon for us and the mountains will continue to see some active weather. So this is great news. At least a 60% chance of snow showers through the end of the week and maybe a quieter day on Friday until we bring more snow in for the weekend. So how do those numbers look? As I mentioned, maybe a little bit of snow tomorrow, probably not accumulating for the valley, but then Thursday is when the main event for the Treasure Valley is and there could be a couple of inches piling up on the valley floors. So get those snow shovels ready. More to come, maybe another foot by this time next week for our mountain valleys. So some great news for ski resorts and skiers and snowboarders who will now be able to hit the slopes. It's about time. Here's a look at the seven day forecast for the valley locations looking cold and looking snowy and looking like a forecast to stay on top of. You can do that on air and online at KTVB.com.